Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about the best way to earn money in 319. So let me roll the intro and let's talk about it. Hello, my name is Grumpy. Alright, so before we start and before I tell you exactly how to do it or exactly how I do it, I need to make a little preface here. So this is not an exploit. This was made intentionally by the developers, but I'm pretty sure that it's going to be patched out and it's going to be nerfed to the ground. So get it while it's hot. The second thing that you need to know is that the whole thing that you're going to do here is a gamble. When you look at the marketing and all of that, you're going to see a phenomenal game that just like looks amazing, works amazing, all of that. And you start playing it especially during free, free flies and you realize this it is just like a roll of dice because of the state of the servers because of the state of the game etc so you might lose the money that you invested the alpha uac or the time that you invested but in the end if you prevail if you manage to succeed and finish uh, uh, what i'm going to show you then you are going to get a lot of money and i mean a lot of money and by the way i'm not talking about the jump town or the ghost hollow pvp events those are like too risky and they do not make you nearly uh, as much money as this whole method does. So what we're going to do here is basically a cargo hauler's wet dream. Have you guys woken up with a small white spot on your underpants? What the f So anyway, the first things first. You are going to need a cargo hauling ship. My ship of choice is the Hull A, but any other ship would do. Now the next thing is that you're going to go into your salvage missions under the General tab and go for the Cutlass or the Misk Freelancer missions. The reason is simple, the admission fee is only 20,000 Alpha UAC, so even if you don't get any profit from them, at least you didn't spend that much money on the mission itself. I have tried the Caterpillar and the Starfarer and the Hammerhead missions, but the admission fee is too high and it's a gamble if you're going to get any good cargo out of them. Most of the Caterpillar and the Starfarer missions I did gave me up to 6 SU containers of cargo and the cargo itself was terrible. And of course, since you're not going to salvage your ships at all, you shouldn't spend that much money on the admission fees. Of course, you can do the whole mission properly and salvage those ships, but since the servers are unstable and the game is out to get you, you're basically basically just wasting your time hoping that you'll make it back in time before a 30k happens and even if you don't get a 30k the terminals might not work at all oh i am so angry at this game right now man are you freaking joking me? Anyway, once you get to the Cutlass or the Freelancer missions, you will park your ship with your cargo bay facing the cargo bay of the salvageable Cuddy or the Freelancer. This is why I love the Hull A, because you can just plunk the cargo boxes on the outside and not deal with the gravity at all. You could also scan the ships for cargo, but the results you can get from scanning are most of the times false, so I wouldn't really rely on them. And now we're getting to the good stuff, so don't forget your multi-tool with a tractor beam because you will need it. Unless you want to waste your time, you shouldn't care about the weapons or the missiles that are attached to the wrecked ships, because the resale value got nerfed to the ground and the fact that you can't store them in your inventory renders them completely useless. The thing you want to focus on are the cargo crates. There are four different types of crates, white and blue, brown, just grey, and the most profitable ones are going to be the green crates. Now, the white and blue crates are a hit and a miss. They can sell for good amounts of money, but they can also have stuff that you currently cannot sell anywhere. The brown crates can be refined ores, but they can also contain unrefined ores which you can't sell, so it's also a hit and a miss. The gray containers are also a hit and a miss, since they can contain scrap, but sometimes they can contain RMC, which sells for good money. But hands down, the best crates and the boxes that you're looking for are the green ones. They can contain organic materials such as weevil eggs, different kinds of hides and stuff like that. Now most of them will sell for hundreds of thousands of alpha UEC per box and some of them can be sold for just like tens of thousands. So these are the ones you want to go for because you never know what you're gonna get. But I would also suggest that you grab everything from those shipwrecks because even though some of these boxes might be a hit and a miss, it's still extra profit if you can sell them. Once you load your ship up, go there directly to one of these three outposts to sell your goods. 
one of which is gonna be Brio's Breaker Yard on Daymar, the other one is gonna be the Reclamation and Disposal Orinth on Hurston, and the last one is gonna be Samson and Sons Salvage Center on Walla. These places are going to give you good money for the green boxes, but you can also sell most of the boxes there. If there are some left that can be sold, try selling them on Grimhex, and whatever boxes are left after that, you can just ditch them because you will not be able to sell them. But beware, these scrapyards do not have an armistice zone, so you might encounter some people there that might camp the terminal and take your cargo. Or if you're a streamer, you might get stream sniped when you go to sell your goods. Let's go. Did he fucking ram the... He rammed it. Sold? Fuck you! Fuck you! Fucking stream sniping, dude. That's what you get. If you want to be one of those guys, you can just transfer the cargo from your victim's ship onto your own ship and you will be able to sell the cargo yourself. Now, some people would say, why don't you just go for the 150k mission in the personal tab that ensures that you will get some good loot out of them. And even though it's true that you will get some good loot, the issue is that the other players can also accept the mission. And with the servers being so unstable and the admission fee being so high, I would honestly suggest to stay away from these missions. Especially if you're a streamer and you get stream sniped. He torp- yeah, he torped the fucking hammerhead. What an asshole, dude. He torps the fucking hammerhead because he has the most loot inside of it. Now, as I've said, it is a hit and a miss. It is a gamble. So, sometimes you're gonna get good loot, sometimes you're gonna get bad loot, and sometimes the uh, salvageable ships are gonna be empty. And that's just the way it is. Some things would never change. Oh shit, I'm recording. And as I've said at the start of the video, get it while it's hot because it's probably gonna get nerfed to the ground because, you know, CAG. Honestly, I don't, I don't think that it should get nerfed to the ground because there is a risk and a reward to it because somebody could camp one of those three locations where you can uh, sell those goods or maybe you're gonna get like um, intercepted or you're gonna get like uh, QED'd or whatever but like nerfing it come on CG if you nerf it I, I don't know what you're doing with your lives honestly but um, yeah that's it for today guys thank you for watching and thank you to all my patrons and my YouTube members for supporting me for, uh, for supporting my channel if you like the video like the video uh, share the video and if you want to support me there's the patreon link down in the description of the video also there's a like YouTube join button down there so uh, there's a bunch of ways to support me also merch you can get my merch on my merch store uh, and yeah uh, again thank you for watching uh, check out the merch store like you're gonna have like a couple of smiles and uh it, it, it's it's just like for, for laughs but you might like something and you might buy something so go ahead if you want to uh so thank you for watching again and don't forget to bring a towel when you're traveling through space and mwah, bye <laughs>